think that there's a reason why the Patriots are successful because they've been through it. So if your if your point of the Super Bowl hangover is, hey, you know what? The, the season went longer, things changed. I can see that. But I don't think that these guys were on the gravy train. I don't think that these guys were beating the drum, you know, uh, uh, last week that they won the Super Bowl. I'm not buying this. They're, they're suffering from a Super Bowl hangover. I'm not. I don't know about you guys, but that's my take on that. How do you define a Super Bowl hangover? That's hard. I mean, I, I would just say when, like, I think they are suffering from a Super Bowl hangover. And the reason why is the way I define it is, Every single thing doesn't work. Everything. Every single thing that worked last year. I mean, we came in this year, right, and said we have more talent on paper than we had last year because of the injuries. And we had guys like Jason Peters all of a sudden can't play. Lane Johnson can't play. I don't don't know what's up with that. Kelsey looks slow. We got no separation on the outside. Aguilar can't play like he did last year. We, I mean, everything that we had, just it's falling apart. So, to me, I mean, I don't know what else it could be. I mean, everybody – I mean, granted, you might have one or two guys or, you know, a couple things not work, but every single aspect of that team that worked last year is not working right now. Yeah. Uh, so I, I don't know how else you put it. A Super Bowl hangover is when you have the best defensive line in football and they're generating the third fewest pressures throughout the NFL. <laughs> A Super Bowl hangover is when you have the best offensive line in football and you've allowed 15 sacks in the last four games. Uh, A Super Bowl hangover is is when you have a Super Bowl winning head coach and you have a franchise quarterback coming off a torn ACL and you're calling nothing but pass, 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 pass. A Super Bowl hangover is also for the fan base. I, I, I think so. We are still stuck in 2017. Oh, yeah. 2018. This, this is supposed to be a new norm. Two and three is not a new norm. I settle for everything. I don't settle for anything. I don't want to be the Phillies. I want to win multiple championships. There is a three-year window with Carson with Wentz. Uh, with Carson Wentz, there's three more years to get another three? Super Bowl. Well, the, the, you're going to have the contract. So, so I don't worry about that. Okay. Well, the, you're most likely going to get more Super Bowls now than later, uh, I think. You don't think so? No. Nah. You don't think so? Yo, Jigsaw's sitting right there. Why are you stepping on his corner, man? This is his. This is his lane that you got. You're taking over his. You're taking Stay over your own his, lane, AJ. Nah, no, man, I like it. I mean, you're, you're I saying like Super Bowl it. hangover. I think. I think what happened is the ball. Everything went right last year. Yep. These games. I mean, we'll go through each one. Is it the NFL or is it just the Eagles season? But it's three plays a game. It's three plays a game. Last year, every single play, those three critical. Plays in in a in a game went right for the Eagles this week this year it's not the the J E J I let's run down the field we get to the one we fumble it that didn't happen last year but you know now, what last it, year there were a lot of blowouts and they're not playing as well as last that's year. right and that's part of the 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 Doug Peterson play calling you're right they would score they scored what uh, they they were like plus 150 in the first quarter last year some some ridiculous number some ridiculous number in the first quarter they were up by two scores in the first quarter now what happens is a little bit's Doug Peterson a little bit i think is with on the offensive line is concentration uh, it's just concentration and that is that a hangover does lane johnson think he's you know mr man about t- town forever and he can just everyone's it, buying it, it beers it kind of is a hangover because you're, you're playing I, for the postseason basis yeah, i don't know he, i think it's a monster the first two games i think if you he get had no faults yeah, that's right so what happened in two first two games he played he was a beast it just, he now it's all he can't play. This, you know he, what I noticed in the crazy. you know what I noticed in the last game. So what what defensive ends are doing is they're lining out really wide, and they're just cutting across his face and getting inside. And and Stephen Weatherly, out of all, not that he's a bad football player, but compared to last year when Lane Johnson was shutting down Justin Houston, yeah. Will Mack, everybody, it, Stephen Weatherly is getting across Lane Johnson's face Stephen consistently Weatherly. on Sunday. It, it's bad. unacceptable. I'm gonna have to hold back. Besides the two, the overtime and that last drive for Tennessee, like I, you keep going with this defensive pressure. They gave up 16 points last week at home. They, they you win that game. It's it's on the offense. Oh, I'm not, it's, it's, now it's listen, Jalen Mills offense. giving up big yes. plays and jawing after he just got burned. It's embarrassing. He needs to know his place and shut up. But they gave up 16 points. Okay, they gave the, up 16 the points, and well. they had that terrible penalty. 
Now they, that terrible Michael Bennett penalty that it just it, yeah yeah yeah, just yeah unconscionable that they that that's where we are now. But that le- led to seven points instead of a possible field goal attempt. You know, the defense. It's the NFL. You can't hit the quarterback. There's going to be big plays. There should be big plays on both sides of the ball. We're not getting the big plays. You know, the wide receivers. No Matt Collins. No Mike Wallace. Are they game changers? I don't know. They stretch no, the field. They're not game. They changers. stretch the field, though. You know, but I agree with you. You know I, what I'm I saying? Like the, I, I'm, the defense, yeah, I'm with, yeah. the, the, the defense, yeah. the defense could be playing better. The defense certainly can be playing better, and that the Tennessee mind farts is just ridiculous. But yo, offense, you got it. We're not going to win at, at all. It, through the five defense, weeks, right? If the defense gives up, what, three less points? The, the, how many points? What's their average? Do you know this stat? It's got to be like 17 points a game. Yeah, actually, the, the points per game is actually not bad at all. And right. In, and in so, the NFL, in the first five weeks, they've scored the most points, points in NFL history. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah offense is – like, we need offense. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Offense stinks. Uh, yeah. I, I, it, offense it's been brutal. brutal. Now, what you have is you have the offensive line hadn't played – I mean, Peters hadn't played in the preseason, right? And True. It, so, it's not an excuse – but it's a it's a reasonable explanation. It took him time to get back together. Then he switches well, to a new quarterback. Well, considering they the had games. the line last year, pretty much all year, I don't think that's something we should be saying. Mm-hmm. But he didn't play at all. Yeah, I hear you just you. you throw him out week one. You throw yeah. him out week two. He and looked week great three, in week one, though. He, he didn't. He didn't look bad. Yeah, but I thought he looked really it takes, good. It still takes time. I mean, the other right. the guys on the other side of the field get paid too. Yeah, yeah. you know, uh, it's just offense. You gotta you gotta come out and and, and smash up some. Uh, some giants tomorrow. But I, I think that I, also I, comes back to not running the ball because a lot of the penalties are holding penalties, which are pass plays. Yeah, and and I agree. It's, yeah, so I, I but who's running the ball? I hear what you're saying. It's not Green Bay. You're you're. I think that's a that's an outlier. I, more but than the but norm. I think I think if you give say like Smallwood eight to ten carries a game, you give say. Corey Clement eight to ten carries a game, and then you give Adam say five. I think you can work like that. Or, or as no. we transition, uh, uh, real fast, real fast, because we just mentioned. So, go. Marco says uh, nineteen point four is a points per game, and last year it was eighteen point four in the first five weeks. Mm. So, so I don't know. Of, if you win so, those games. Right. I agree. I yep. completely agree.